that we should be ready to go. Clear for takeoff. Drop heat's needed. Tito heat's on. Strobes are on. Landing lights are in pulse. Uh, fuel's on. Boost pumps high. And mixtures are rich. Pain Tower, Aerostar 11111, ready for takeoff, uh, westbound departure. Aerostar 11111, Pain Tower, runway 34 left at Alpha 9, clear for takeoff, westbound approved. Uh, triple one, clear for takeoff at Alpha 9, westbound approved. Alright, so we're going to taxi out on the runway. Takeoff briefing is, if we have any anomalies on the ground, we will pull the throttles back and stop. If we're uh, at speed and the airplane's still on the ground, pull throttles back and stop. If we're off the ground, the wheels are still down, we'll go ahead and land. <laughs> and if we uh, are off the ground, wheels are up, we're just gonna go ahead and fly the airplane, go through the uh, engine out procedure, and we'll make a left turn to re-enter the pattern. I'm going to run it on up to about 30. Make sure the turbos are kicked in. They're good. Well, temperatures are all in the green. 42 inches of man, full pressure. Everything's looking good. Airspeed's alive. 60 knots. 70 knots. 80 knots. 90. 95. Back pressure come off the ground right at 100. All right, runway's gone, positive for to climb, gear up, we're at about 110, we can go ahead and bring flaps up at this time, it'll stay at about 1,000 feet a minute, just accelerate. Valley 3093, Yankee traffic up, one down, runway 34 left, south, five, clear for takeoff, northwest and through. Clear for takeoff, clear for left, northwest and south, 3093. Dan, I just kind of naturally let the airplane go ahead and accelerate, bring it back to 37. Climb 24. I'm Eric Reese. I sell real estate for a living, but I fly and instruct in the Aerostar for fun. Join us on our travel and training adventures in the world's fastest light piston twin. I gotta pick a heading, I think this one will do just fine. Nice thing about this airplane, you got a lot of great visibility um, looking around out there. Pick the autopilot off. Get it all trimmed out here for the way I want it. The heading bug right there at 292 degrees, and that'll be fine for what we're doing. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put the mixtures up, Rich. I'm gonna turn the uh, uh, boost pumps back on to high. Now we're going to go mixtures rich, props are going to go full forward. We'll probably lose the cabin a little bit here, but all right. And I'm going to go ahead and start slowing the airplane down a little bit. Any traffic out there? Nope, I didn't see anything. Okay. Anything low. I'm going to come back to about 16 inches. Okay, first thing we're going to do, I'm just going ahead and we're just going to throttle on back. I'm going to do a straight ahead, I'm going to turn that off. Straight ahead uh, power, much power off stall, just to get a feel for where that stall speed is. So we'll come back to idle. Your warning horns are working. Now the recovery in this, I'm just going to drop the nose a little bit. Okay, there it is, it's about 95 knots. That's where, where I expected it to be. Power back up. That nose down. Otherwise you end up with a secondary stall. I didn't have to bring the power back up. I don't care about the loss of altitude right now. I'm not close to the ground because of demonstration purposes only. Alright, next thing we'll go ahead and drop flaps 20. The same thing. We're just going to bring it on back. I'm going to go ahead and gain some altitude a little bit while I'm doing it this time. Oh, 
but 20 degrees flat, there's 95, 93, 90. Okay, there was a little bit of a buffet, no ink drop, so there's that. Go ahead and bring the power back up, nose down, accelerate. Back up to about 117. Now, this is where the fun's going to begin. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and slow it on down again. Bring it back to about 15 inches. Myself at blue line, which I'm at, level of flight. The heading bug out here, I don't see any traffic anywhere, so that's good. And I'm going to go ahead and bring the left engine back to idle. And I want you to go to the far left of over here. I'm going to pull that. That's the gear warning. So the lights are off. Don't let me forget to put that back on again. That way I don't have to listen to the, the horn. Yep. All right, so there's 100 knots. I'm going to start bringing the power in. I'm going to need a lot of rudder. And we got a dead engine on the left side. So there's full power with the windmilling prop down about 105 knots right now actually climbing a little bit if you can believe that but that's the 700 so what we're looking for now need that bank into the good engine it's just a little as I slow it down about one knot per second keep looking outside look at the climb rate that's pretty amazing okay there's oh, there it is there's the small buffet you feel it go ahead and put the nose down bring the power back that was pretty smooth. Yeah, get the speed coming back up again. I'll bring the other engine back up. Mark the horn button. In. Yeah, go ahead and put the horn button back in. So pretty simple. Not much of a not much of a transition, but as soon as you feel that little buffet, that's when you want to get uh, get that power off and get the nose down and get yourself uh, recovered. Very cool. Didn't do the best job holding the heading. Oh, you did great. I can't see a damn No, they're a ways away, though. Um, I'm just going to go back to paint. Okay. I'm not going to, yeah, I don't want to do this, because uh, I'll You're do dangerous. this another time. Yeah, it's just, I can't see anything out here. That's a good call. We can just do ILS on paint. No. Wrong direction. Oh, that's right. GPS. What I will do is put the um, RNAV 34 left in. Enter. I'm going to go to Rario. Enter. Like first reversal, no. Load. Yep. And where Ferrari all let's go. Break Ferrari. Break enter enter. Now we'll go back in the GPS steering. Nav source not GPS. That's because of that. It warns me, so that's kinda nice. Oh. miles, 400 feet below us, and uh, I'm going to turn. 500 feet below us, we'll be all right. Hey Tower, Air Star 11111 is with you with Charlie five and a half uh, southwest of Rario. I'd like to initiate a practice approach uh, full stop from Rario. Straight in three four left or more. Alright, so now we're set back up for this thing. And it is set up for the approach correctly. I don't need this one because I can't do anything with it. We're tracking uh, inbound just fine. And spread that out a little bit. Now the key thing of this is keeping it in uh, GPS steering until it's made to turn on into Rario. And um, I'm going to descend, uh, no, I'll stay here at 3, this will work fine. Uh, main reason for that is if you don't, and you push the approach button too far out, it won't anticipate that turn. And this thing generally overshoots it anyway. So notice we're at 2200 RPM, 25 inches of manifold pressure, flaps are at uh, 20 degrees, we've got uh, lights are on, uh, pumps are on, gear is uh, not down yet. Uh, Turtle One's looking for him. We're going to 
he'll, he'll work it back. Okay, notice how the speeds are working out really good. It's showing about 145 knots. And um, we're showing about 24, 22, which is perfect. Coming up on Rario, we got 1.2 miles to go. Left turn in five seconds. The autopilot will make the turn for me. Triple one, thank you. And then once it makes the turn, because it's meeting, it's meeting that turn for me, which is, which is good. Once that happens, I'm going to go ahead and activate the approach on the autopilot once I'm inbound. And we can go down to 2,500 feet. Don't have the VNAV uh, yet. Okay, there it is. Approach mode. We have, the, we have the glide slope indication, so I don't need to do anything. I don't need to go down to the 2,000 feet that it's telling me to. So I can just wait, intercept the glide slope. And what I'm going to do for that, I'm not touching the power. We're below gear extension speed, power's fine. What I'm going to do is, when I'm about a half a dot below the glide slope, I'm going to go ahead and run the mixture drift, the drops full forward, and I'm going to bring the throttle back to 16 inches manifold pressure. And that'll give me a 3 degree glide slope with no wind. And then I'm going to shoot for 20. Triple 1, clear to land. Triple 1, clear to land, 3, 4 left. Okay, glide slope is alive. So, half a dot. Gear's gonna come down. Three into green. Mixture's rich. Props gently pull forward. Prop sink off. Manifold pressure right back down to about uh, 15, 16 inches. Okay, glide slope is captured and it's starting down, so that's cool. All right, minimums on this are uh, 1,020. Missed approach, basically straight ahead out to Ewok and hold, up to 3,000 feet. Gas, everything's on, undercarriage, down, three green, mixture's rich, props full forward, three landing checks and sleeves. And uh, we're zeroed out on the um, pressurization. Okay, we're tracking in just fine. Holding real nice, right about 120, 117, 120. I kind of use the blue line as a reference for these, so if you're holding that, you stand within the um, class Bravo speed. Let's go ahead and amplify the rest of the way down. Power settings are perfect now, and everything's just working really good. It should be about six, uh, 700 feet a minute. We have a little bit of wind coming off the nose. A little bit low on the glide slope, speed's a little low, come up an inch of the full pressure. Back on glide slope, come on back an inch. Alright, there we go. Airport's in sight. Flaps going to 30. Figures down to check one more time. Still on the glide slope, still on the glide path. 110 knots is my target here. Okay, we got the airport made. We'll go flaps full. Stay on the glide slope. 100 knots, the target speed. Flaps back to neutral. Okay, everything's looking good. Haven't had to really even do much of the trim either. 100, 50, 40, 30. Oh, her carrier landing today. <laughs> I can see it coming, too. <laughs> it was the auto land. Yeah. A part of it is the CG is way forward uh, because don't have a bunch of fuel, there's no baggage back there, and uh, that's the nature of this airplane. Because it's got the battery in the uh, nose. Affirmative. Alpha Hotel 1 will stay with you on this frequency. Turbo 1. Okay, back to 1000 RPM. Okay, start over here, pitot heat's off, strobes are off, pulse lights are off, uh, pumps off, pumps off, flaps going back up, get back down here, we're going to deflate the door seal, we'll reset the cabin back to 2000, so it'll get back there probably by the time we're in, and we'll reset the trims to uh, neutral. Alright, yeah, I do have a shutdown checklist.
Burst seal is depleted. Yes, it is. Boost pumps are off. Yes, they are. Trim is neutral. Heater defrost blowers off. Yeah, we'll go ahead and turn that one off. Like it says, aux hydraulic is going off. And uh, EGTs are down close to a thousand. They don't go up. They won't go all the way down. Avionics and autopilot smash are before I do that. Let's do this ground check. And that does both of them do ground out. Yep. Alright. 